The Monster Hunter World, the board game, has a ton of expansions and in this video we will help you choosing which ones you should buy. We will go through each recommended expansion, explaining which components and gameplay make them a good choice for your evening tabletop session. Hi, my name is Nick and we are Tabletop Duo. So grab your favorite drink and let's start. To start, let's imagine you have the Ancient Forest or the Wildspire Waste sets. If you have one of them, the first choice of purchase should be, in my opinion, the other set you don't have yet. The reason is because each set comes with 4 new hunters to play with unique gameplays and on top of that you get also 4 new monsters to hunt with their unique loot and behaviors. Not only that, but each set comes with a weapon, gear and progression table of the other set, so you will be able to play the Ancient Forest creatures while playing the Wild Spire Waste campaign and vice versa. This will double the amount of content and playtime you can potentially have. You can find the review videos for each expansion by clicking on the link above or in this video's description. Now let's imagine you either have already both sets or you bought the set you didn't have by watching this video. Our suggestion for the next expansion you should buy is based on what you're looking for. Are you looking for more hunters to play with or are you looking for more monsters to hunt? If you're looking for more hunters to play, my suggestion would be getting the Hunter's Arsenal expansion, which is this one right here. This expansion comes with six new hunters. You get the Gunlance Hunter, the Hammer Hunter, Hunting Horn Hunter, Lance Hunter, Light Bowgun Hunter, and Longsword Hunter. That's a lot of new ways to play the game with like new gear and weapons. There are some interesting hunters to play, like the Hunting Horn Hunter, with its ability to perform songs. You can perform a song once per turn by choosing it from the song list card and you must have the song notes uh, on the face-up attack cards played to do so. The songs have a variety of effects like attack or defense up, extra movement, health recovery and others. And you place uh, the tokens on hunters affected by the song. The song lasts until the hunting horns next turn. You can find the video where we detail this expansion by clicking on the link above or in this video's description. If you already have it, or you are looking for monsters to hunt, the next suggestion would be acquiring the Kushala Deora expansion. This expansion adds one of the Elder Dragons to your monster hoster and the strongest enemy in the board game. Since this monster is an Elden Dragon, it has rarity 5 weapons and armor and an astonishing amount of health. This dragon has its special mechanics involving wind tokens that will increase the range you can attack and it creates tornadoes that make your life harder as you move through the map. With this monster's resources, you can craft weapons for the great sword, dual blades, bow, axe, hammer, gun lance, heavy bow gun, and lance hunters. Which means that, like all the other expansions that you got, will also get some benefit out of buying this uh, Elden Dragon. For the armor, you can craft the Kushala set, which gives physical damage resistance and ice damage resistance. Talking about miniature size, this is the biggest monster miniature in the game and looks amazing on the board. You can check our unboxing video by clicking on the link above or by checking this video's description as well. In case you already have it, our next suggestion would be to acquire the other two Elder Dragons, Nurgigante and Teostra sets. Both monsters will provide rarity 5 weapons and unique gear for your party. Nergigante's gameplay is about using its spike tokens and doing its dive behavior which deals an astonishing 12 physical damage with a range of 2 with a 6 dodge value. The Zelden Dragon is weak against lighting and immune to ice and water and has a strong resistance to all status ailments except for stun, which it's immune to. For Teostra, its gameplay is related to the Black Scale Dusk tokens. When Teostra is performing the behavior card that deals fire damage, if there is a hunter on a node with a black scale token, the attack will be amplified. Teostra is not affected by fire and dragon elemental damage, blast blight, sleep and paralysis. It's weak against water and ice and has some resistance against poison and stun status ailments. Well, that's it, so I hope this guide helps you choosing your next expansion for this amazing game from Steamforged Games. You'll be able to find other Monster Hunter videos from Tabletop Duo right here. Thanks for watching and see you next time, Hunter. Bye.